It's time to commit murder. <sighs> Don't worry, baby. I'm going to put you back together again. And I have photos. I have photos from when I first made it. I have photos from last summer when I did a photo shoot with it. So we're good. We are good. Um... Ah, what am I doing? What am I actually doing? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, we start off by losing all of the intro footage. So I'm going to have to do it like this now. But this is going to be a video of me remaking my very first cardigan from my very first cardigan. Because what has happened to it is that it stretched out a lot as I wore it. And a consequence of that is that I don't wear it anymore. And it makes me really sad because it is so colorful. It is so comfortable. I love it so much, but because it's turned into this bulky mess that I can't fit into any of my jackets, I don't really wear it anymore. So I wanted to fix it so that I could wear it more. And this is just the start of me ripping this entire thing apart and putting it back together again. So I hope you enjoy. Oh, no, leave it like that. You can always leave it, leave it. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> am I having regrets? Maybe. But I want to wear that thing again, and if I'm going to wear that thing again, I have to fix it. I have to fix it. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. There, there was a lot of panic in the beginning uh, about how I was taking this thing apart. I mean, it's just, it's a very simple cardigan. I knew I could make it again. But yeah, there was a lot of panic. A lot of panic about this. Um, but I persevered. I got over it. And... Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> we have one side undone. The lighting's bad, isn't it? Anyway, we have two sides, one back piece and two sleeves. Now, I'm not gonna undo the sleeves until I've redone the body because the sleeves aren't the current problem. It's how wide this thing has gotten. So anyway, I... so I'm gonna save the sleeves and if I can get away with it, I'm just gonna attach them to the new, to the new body. I love it so much. Anyway, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start undoing this piece. I thought I was gonna be reusing the sleeves, but when I started undoing and uh, thinking about how to redo the, the body of the cardigan, I realized I, I wanted to get rid of the stripey effect. And the stripey effect is just like you do the whole back loop stitch thing um, to create this stripey effect. And I, I wanted a more solid look. So in the end, I had to undo the sleeves too to match the, the new pattern. I just want to start. I'm going to do it one piece at a time. I can't wait. I need to start. I'm I'm too eager. I just want to do the ribbing. I just want to start. Trying a different angle, we'll see if I regret it, but I just don't want to think about it. So, this is the progress. It looks tiny, but the thing is, the old one fit me perfectly when I first made it, but it became too big. So if this one is just on the side of a little bit too tight, it's going to turn out a little bit bigger in the end. So I'm not too worried about that. I finished two colors, so I'm moving on to my third. This cardigan is an incredibly fast project to do because I'm using a relatively chunky yarn. If I had just like been able to, like if I had the time, I could finish it in like, it might sound ambitious, but I think I could finish it in like two days. 
like two days of effective, efficient work. Um, this one ended up taking me like two weeks because I could only work on it basically on the weekends. So maybe it took me four days, but regardless, it's a very quick and easy cardigan to make. Okay, one color left for the back panel and then I need to rip up the sides or the front panels rather. And then I need to rip up the sleeves and redo those. But you can see how like, how wide it's gotten now that it's gotten away from the from the ribbing. This is my new back piece and this is the inside of my new back piece. This is the outside. Bottom looks pretty good. It's very stiff, but I remember when I first made the the original one, it was also very stiff. And then after like a couple of wears and a couple of washes, it relaxed a whole lot. But if I just do this, you can see it's at the edge of my shoulders. So this is probably gonna stretch down my shoulders anyway. That's okay because the other one, it stretched way down to my elbows. Like it was all the way down here by the end of it. So I think, I think this is good. Okay, so I'm gonna, so in my ends, and I'm definitely not gonna do it the way I did last time in case I need to rip this one up as well. I'm too tired. I can't. I can't. This is that's that's gonna have to be it. <laughs> I was hoping I could sit here for at least half an hour. I've done 20 minutes and I'm I even had my cute little bowl with me and everything so that I could actually do stuff. If I ever decide to to tutorial, this might be viable. Thing is, I can't fucking see now except through the screen. So I'm just gonna have to trust myself. Oh my god, this feels so weird. This is kind of cool actually. This is kind of cool actually. It's not going very quickly, but I think I could get pretty proficient at it. So that was me. I have one of those like uh, gorilla pod style. Excuse you. Oh my God, what is it called in English? Tripod, tripod, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have a gorilla pod style tripod, the one with the flexible legs. And what I did in that previous clip is that I hung the, the tripod from my neck and sort of balanced it against my chest and that's actually like I really like that I tested that out it was I couldn't do it for very long but if I'm ever like thinking about doing some kind of tutorial type video again uh, like the kitty glove thing I'm definitely going to use that because it made it real easy to show like close up uh, whatever I was doing because one thing I struggled with when doing the kitty gloves was that I couldn't like it was really hard for me to see what I was doing through the camera because I don't have like a flip screen or anything for the one I use so that was just a really good way to um, to get it working <laughs> Okay, so tragedy has struck. I have just realized I lost my intro footage for this video. And that sucks a whole lot, but this is, this is where we're at. The sleeves are as big as the back piece, probably bigger actually, but um, otherwise it's fine. So what I'm gonna do next is sew in all the ends, this, it's a total lie. Here's what the sleeves look like because I made it from scraps. There are so much on both of them. I think there are some on the panels too. 
Not that one. I think I made that one first. Yeah, this one. This one has a bit. So the back piece is the only thing that is actually finished. And here I am again wishing that I had just sewn in the ends as I went along because this is probably the worst part about making stuff. I really, really, really do not like saving the ends for last. And I know I see a lot of creators who aren't bothered by it and that's okay. Like that's, I wish I was like that. But the idea of having a bunch of loose threads that aren't properly secured just gives me gives me anxiety over my piece falling apart. So I had to sew in the ends and I wish I had done it as I went along because this took up so much time and because it's the least favorite thing of all, it just felt annoying. Sew in your ends. Just do it. it it makes your life so much easier once you get to the end and just want to assemble and be done. <laughs> I did the assembly a little bit different compared to last time. I, I crocheted the shoulders and originally, or on the first one, I also crocheted the sides, but I ended up only crocheting the cuffs and then um, just sewing the sides together because I, I really wanted to use uh, the same color yarn. So it ended up being a whole lot more ends to sew in, but I'm really happy that I don't have, because with the previous one, I had a lot of, I think I used blue and pink as the colors. So like on the green, I would have a lot of blue peeking through and on the, like on the yellow, you could really see the pink at some points. And sure, it's just the side seams. It's not like people stare, stare at your armpits all day, <laughs> but it just bothered me. So uh, I'm really glad that I ended up using uh, like matching colors this time around because it just, it gave it that little bit of extra finish that I wanted made me happy. Okay, it is getting dark, but I have sleeves attached. I still need to do the, do in the ends. But I have a piece of clothing and I'm kind of tempted to drape it over myself and see what kind of tragedy this is. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's let's see. Let's see. Get up. So inside, it's still heavy though. This doesn't look bad. Oh, I'm so happy. And the sleeves do feel a bit short right now. But as you can see, I can pull quite a lot on them. So I think gravity is gonna do its job. Anyway, good. So the last thing after assembling the entire cardigan was to add the ribbing and buttons. And um, I'm so glad it's finished. Like it's, it's, it's finished. I am wearing it as I speak and it's just, it's the best thing. The sleeves still feel a bit short, but I just know that they're gonna stretch out once, uh, once I've worn it more, especially once it's been washed a couple of times because it, that really helps the fibers relax. Final stretch. I've actually done a whole lot of this off screen, specifically the last bit of ribbing. Uh, I was hanging out with mom this weekend, so we just did some handcrafting together. Uh, the last thing I need to do is sew in the last ends and put on, 
the buttons again. Guess who was too eager yesterday about finishing this frigging cardigan and is now going to redo the buttons because I just put it on because I'm gonna do the last little, they're so uneven, no wonder it felt weird wearing it. So I'm just gonna, you know, buttons are difficult. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. I actually filmed like the end shot right after that clip inside in my living room in the super poor lighting. And my cardigan deserved more. It deserved better lighting and the weather has been nice today. So I ended up just mid editing, just doing my hair, doing my makeup and going outside. I went outside and filmed and I don't think I've done outside vlogging since I moved away from like my parents' house, which is right out in the boonies. I really need to practice because it felt awkward. But yeah, so I got some really nice in the sunlight shots of my reassembled, remade, beautiful, beautiful cardigan. It makes me ridiculously happy. Like, doesn't it just make you happy to see? <sighs> I love color so much. It makes me so happy. You do not understand. It is the best thing ever. And I'm so glad I remade it because it fits inside my jackets now. I can wear it. I can wear it outside without feeling like it's bulky or annoying. It. I'm so glad I did this. I've said it so many times, but it makes me so happy. That is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're new here, if this is your first video of mine, feel free to subscribe, hang around for more videos to come. I try to post one every week. I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Until then, bye.